So today I'm going to show you how to build NAN agents with one single prompt and we're going to use this using the Claude MCP for NAN. Now this might seem a little bit technical but I promise you a complete beginner or 11 year old can do this with the right instructions which you're going to get today. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'll drop this link below the video but first of all we're going to install Node.js. Now I don't exactly know what Node.js is but essentially it means that we can use this coding language called node anywhere on our mac so you don't need to know anything about it but you can press get node.js you're going to make sure it's on your version whatever you're running on whether it's windows linux mac i'm on mac i already have this installed but you would literally press install there and then once you've installed it will show up in your downloads up here and then what we need to do next if you're on a mac you're going to open up the terminal app now this might seem a little bit technical but i promise you it's super simple so we're going to open up terminal and then once you've got Node.js installed, we're just gonna follow these instructions. So you're gonna, first off, you're gonna take this command here and you're gonna copy and paste it into your terminal. So we're gonna open up the terminal, we're gonna paste it like that. And then we're gonna to go to the next one and we're gonna copy and paste this. And then we're gonna to go to the terminal again, paste, press enter. And then we're gonna to go to the next one, mbm install. Now I already have this installed, so I'm not sure what it's gonna do, whether it's gonna break my existing version. Um, but it's re-downloaded and it looks like. And then the next one, I'm gonna do it again. And then we're just gonna go with the last one. And then that is all set up and ready to go. Now we can get to the fun part. So next, in order to use the NAN MCP, we're gonna have to use Claude. So Claude is $20 a month for the version that we need that's gonna allow us to run this. But all we're gonna do is type in Claude download, and then you're gonna download this app for whatever computer you're on, onto your computer and then you're gonna have something that looks a little bit like this. And then once you're inside, we're gonna go into here, we're gonna to go to settings, we're gonna to go to developer, and then we're gonna edit this config. So you can see mine's already running here, but you would edit this, and then you're gonna paste this piece of code in that's gonna show up now. So we're gonna press edit config. Then you're gonna open this folder up, and you can open it with a text, a simple text box or whatever platform you wanna use. And you're gonna take this piece of text here, so you're gonna to have to put your own details in. So. What we're using is from this. So if we go back to the um, where we actually found the guy who shared this, how to make the NAN MCP, you're gonna copy and paste this full config here. So not this one, we want the full mode. So you're gonna take this, you're gonna put your uh, NAN URL. So if we go into NAN, I'll show you what that is. So it's everything before workflow. So for me, it's this URL before workflow. You're gonna take that, you're gonna put it in this section here, mine's already in there and then you're gonna get your API key from NAN here. So we go to settings, NAN API key, and then you're gonna create your API key. You're gonna copy and paste the long number it gives you, and then you're gonna paste it here. And then we're just gonna press file and then save. We're gonna click out of this, and then you might need to restart Claude. So I'm not gonna to need to because I already have it installed, but restart Claude, the app. And then when you go in a chat, you'll be able to see this. So we just go in a random chat here, for example. You're gonna see this NAN MTP here, but we're not done your share, we're nearly done. So what we need to do now is create a custom project and we're gonna call this, we're gonna go to a new project, we're gonna call it NAN Builder. And I'm gonna create the project and then we need to give it some custom instructions to make sure it doesn't run into any errors. So the instruction we're gonna use, we're gonna use the ones from the website that are provided. So we go down here, scroll down a little bit. It gives us this full instructions to give to the Claw project. So it basically just says, you know, execute tools without commentary. You must validate them first to make sure it doesn't give us any errors in the build. And it basically tells it what tools to use and just make sure that it actually works before it gives it to us. Now, don't get me wrong, you will get times where the temp template won't work straight away. But what I found is you just go, it's not working and it, all, it fixes it almost 99% of the time straight away. So you're gonna copy this off this um, GitHub repository, just press copy. We're gonna go back to Claude. We're gonna put this in the instructions. So we put that in here. We're gonna save instructions and then we can literally just type what agent we build now. So quick outfit change to the camera died, but now I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. So I've just put this one prompt in. I want to build an NA agent that creates football data and creates bets. Now this is super simple. What I would usually do to build a better prompt is I would use the GPT voice mode on my phone. So it's the white button in the corner. And then what I'll do, I'll just say, I wanna build an agent that does this, blah, blah, blah. It's then gonna give me a prompt, which I can then put into here. And it's gonna give me much better answers. But for the purpose of the video, I just wanted to show you a one line prompt to create an agent. And what we can see here, because it's got the NAN MCP installed here, what it used to do in the past is hallucinate, but now it has direct access to everything that's inside NAN. So it's gonna validate it against the nodes that actually exist in NAN. 
And we can also see what it does with the MCP is it searches any templates that might be similar to what we wanna build already. So it will save us a lot of time. So that's what it's doing here. And you'll see it go through these. And then once it's finished, it's gonna give you a setup guide and it's also gonna give you the complete JSON file for it. So if we click on this, um, we can download this file directly. So we press download as JSON. And then what you would do with this file, uh, it already exists, but I'm gonna re-download it. But then what we would do is we'd go to NAN, we go to uh, add workflow, personal, gonna open up a blank workflow for you just like this. And then we're gonna do import from file. And then that file that we just downloaded from Claude that it built for us, we can import into here and we have a agent that is ready to go. Now this might need a little bit of configuring. You might need to put your API keys in. You might need to change some things, but as a start, you don't need to build this thing from scratch anymore. You can just sort of edit it and troubleshoot with an already built workflow, which is absolutely amazing. So to summarize the whole video, install Node.js, install the packages on terminal. You just copy and paste the commands from the Node.js website, download Claude, make sure you're on the 20 quid a month or 20,000 a month subscription. You're gonna to go to your settings here. You're gonna to go to developer, edit config, paste that piece of text from here that I've showed you. So you're gonna put this in, make sure you put your NAN URL and your API key from NAN, which I just showed you. Press save, restart the app, go to make a custom project, the NAN up here projects. You're gonna put them instructions that you copy and paste here, save it, and this thing is ready to go. You'll be able to build an agent with one prompt and it's as simple as that. If you have any issues or you're struggling with anything, put them in the comments and I'll answer every single one. So see you guys in the next one.